This conference will now be recorded. It is now 6 p.m. and I'm going to call yeah, to order so the Tilton Planning Board public hearing on Tuesday, January 10th, 2023. All right, and I'm going to have someone read, I will go around the room and read the, the uh, zoning amendments. And if there's anyone in the public, either on the line, there's no one here on the line. Um, if you have any questions, after we read them, we'll have an opportunity to respond. See anybody online? John, you want to read the first one? Sure. Amendment number one, prepared by the Tilton Planning Board. Are you in favor of adoption of amendment number one as proposed by the Planning Board for the Town Zoning Ordinance to amend Article 2.2.1 to add 200 square feet or SF or less? 2.21 setbacks see the table of dimensional values on any lot an accessory building greater than 200 square feet may be erected and maintained only with the building setbacks in accordance with the requirement of this item an accessory use structure 200 square feet or less parentheses less than 200 square feet close parentheses, and no higher than 17 feet may be constructed within 10 feet of a property of the property line, nor between a line drawn parallel to the street and passing through the closest front edge of the primary building. This one correction may not be may constructed. May not, within. this one, yes. Okay, may not be. Yes. So that was, that's the uh, current. Well, we're adding the two. And we're adding, adding 200, 200 square, square feet or less. Feet or less. Yeah. Okay. So, is there anyone online who has any comments or questions? I don't see anybody online, Jim. Okay. Um, anyone on the planning board have any comments? We went over this last week. So, so the idea behind it was that it didn't specify at 200 feet. Yeah. So it's actually just a, a cleaning up of it because the 200 foot mark turned into something that was ambiguous. You couldn't mm -hmm. tell. And it's the common plan. Yeah. So and I think 200 now square feet or less um, can be, uh, is 10 feet, no closer than 10 feet. Mm -hmm. So it can't be in 10 feet. So 201 one feet. Up. Has been the setbacks, has to meet the setbacks. Okay, amendment number two, again, prepared by the Tilton Planning Board. Are you in, and this is the way it's stated now. Are you in favor of the adoption of amendment number two as proposed by the Planning Board for the Town Zoning Ordinance to amend Article 18.1, I mean 8.1 manufactured homes as follows. And this is the way it reads now. 8.1, all manufactured housing installed later than 1-1-2000 must meet the specifications and standards established by the United States Department of Housing and Ur Urban Development, that's HUD, as of April 1st, 1995. I'm going to delete that and replace it with the following. 8.1 will read, manufactured homes. It is the intent of this ordinance to offer reasonable opportunities for the installation of manufactured housing in accordance with the provisions of RSA 674-32 and RSA 205-D, modular housing and other pre-site built housing as defined in this ordinance are not subject to this section. 8.1.1. Only manufactured homes manufactured in accordance with the National Mobile Home Construction and Safety Standards Act of 1974 as amended and manufactured 10 years of their placement in the town of Tilton are relocated within the town 
shall be permitted in the town of Tilden. 8.1.2, all manufactured homes must have a HUD certificate. 8.1.3, all manufactured homes installed in the town of Tilton must first receive a building permit from the building inspector prior to re relocation or installation. 8.1.4, all permanent manufactured housing shall be placed on a permanent concrete slab or permanent foundation. The design and construction of the slab or permanent foundation shall comply with current amended building codes at the time of construction. 8.1.5, normal maintenance and repairs of such a manufactured home shall be permitted provided that no structural alterations are made to the primary structure. Tom, you want to read the 8.1.6 through the end? 8.1.6, manufactured home storage. No unoccupied manufactured home shall be stored or exhibited for sale and eventual removal within a manufactured home park or subdivision or any other residential district. 8.1.7, a manufactured home may be occupied as a temporary residence during the construction on a lot for which a building permit has been issued and a manufactured home may be used as a temporary office incidental to construction on or development of the premises on which the manufactured home is located for a period of one colon, colon, colon one colon, year. For further information, the proposal contact the Ann Moynihan Oh, that's on the public notice. Okay. Okay. All right. Are there any comments from the planning board? So basically what the issue was um, that there was no floating date with the time you know, that went along. So yep. it, it's, it just sat there back at 1995 and didn't float that's with right. the that's years that's right. to that's keep right. it up. Right? Yep. So, um, and I think we discussed last time about a, a reasonable date. And Ten years seemed to be one that, um, unless we get other comments or anything, we could yeah. address it. And that was we had discussed uh, initially. It was suggested five years. We discussed that that you know there was a very brief time in case it didn't sell right away or different things took place. So. Okay. Um, the only thing that concerns me is that no unoccupied manufacturer home shall be stored or exhibited for sale and eventual removal within a manufactured home park. So if somebody was moved out of their mobile home, let's say there's somebody passed away and they're trying to sell it and it's unoccupied, so that would be not permitted. So, you know, if a lot of times there's elderly people or other That's people. That's not how I read that. Let me see it again. Let me still. Well, it actually addresses so no unoccupied manufactured home shall be stored, and you can't bring a manufactured home mm -hmm. for, to be stored right. for sale. That's there, how I read it. Or exhibited for sale mm -hmm. and eventual removal within. So, it's not to, if you're going to sell a home that exists there existing you can't sell they can't be selling homes there i think it's to prevent so i wonder if there's a better way to word it because in the scenario that i just gave a home manufactured home becomes unoccupied due to let's say that somebody passes away and sometimes it takes a little while for the family to sell it um then that would be a violation. Well, you can take it right out if you want. Yeah, see, I don't read it that way either. Well, it, would that be okay to do? If, 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 it, a, if somebody passed away. If there's an existing or not yeah, passed away. Or, well, I'm, I'm just using that one scenario. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but or not. But um, let's see in Sherwood Drive, and it could be a mobile home that's only five years old, or, and that's called a manufactured home. 
Yeah, but this is under okay. manufactured home storage. So I don't, I see that since it, the he heading is manufactured home storage, I don't see that that says if I'm in a home and I die, my home's not being stored there. I've, I've vacated my home and it's now, my home's now for sale. Mm -hmm. That's different from storing my my home there. But there's, but it says if it's unoccupied store or exhibited for sale. Under manufactured home storage. Well, that's the title, not but under, the definition not under is. Man, oh. Do you see what I'm saying? I see it as a very different. I see because the, the heading is manufactured home storage, that if I'm living in a place at whatever that place is up so in my house. So, for example, now those mm -hmm. two units that are sitting there, one's the RV that's illegal, that's um, a seasonal RV that's sitting at Gaslight because they put it there without a permit and then they didn't get approval, right? So there's that one. And then there's the other one that is older than 1995, which also can't remain there. Now, are they going to be able to sell those from there? Are they going to be able to put a sign and start selling those? Or can they? You not, know, not if this goes into a back. They shouldn't be able to, or you bring, or if they want to put some on those lots and put a sign up as unoccupied, bring them in, put them there and sell them. It's to prevent them from being, they're not a dealership. And I think that's the deterrent. Now, if you want to word it some other way, we can. Well, we'll do it in the public hearing. Um, but we can I, take I, it out. And, um, no, I, I think it has a good purpose. I think it's the wording that would allow um, somebody if, because I, I know sometimes, you know, closing on houses or mobile home or manufactured homes, it could, you know, a lot of times they empty them and they have them um but it's not being stored i don't see that as being stored there well if it's exhibited for sale or exhibited for sale mm. if you want to come up with a new wording yeah. we'll have to post it and have another public hearing we haven't so but isn't isn't the spirit of this um proposal to bring to prevent private citizens from bringing mobile homes into a mobile home park no. and putting them up for sale and put them yeah. up for sale yes yeah. correct yeah yeah storing them there storing till they them sell them. And putting them up for sale that that in itself is uh that i'm 100 behind mm. um because i i just don't want somebody coming in to, taking a, a mobile home from everywhere and bring it down there and putting one up the gas light mm. or wherever and putting it up for sale and advertising it that they're becoming a dealer a, a, an existing mobile home that's up for sale that that's already there. Yeah, this wouldn't stop someone from selling their mobile homes. So obviously, they can sell here. No, I don't see that. I, it's like oh, I said. I see this as storage. If we, I understand that you the title, but if you look at the definition, if somebody was to sell their mobile home or their manufactured home or exhibit it for sale um, in a manufactured home park. Would they be allowed to do it under this? If so, um, you know, yes. if Tom owns, I see them a, being allowed to do it, and that that would stand. I mean, this yeah, is their official someone, record. Now but. they couldn't pick up their mobile home, move it to the front of Gaslight Village, and exhibit it for sale, and that's a little different. Um, but and you know, right, right. Hmm. But it's an existing. Home. Because yeah. then they would be storing it at Gaslight Village. Right. And put it, like if they took an old one, here's an example, maybe this is what you're getting to. Mm -hmm. So, in my interpretation as an officer, yeah. if you had a home there and you didn't want you want a new one, you pick up your old one, you put it out front of Gaslight yeah. Village, sure. say I'm going to sell that or yeah. anywhere, yeah. and you buy a new one and put it on your a nine, 2021 and on, put it on your slab, mm -hmm. yeah. you can't put your old one out front to sell. That, that, would this would not allow that so it's a, putting it out for a sale so if we added that um something that qualifies all pre-existing homes may that, be sold as in their original place to approach right. position or something uh, you know yes. so uh, how can we 
know, you'd have to do the word. If you want to send me verbiage, I can put it on, or you guys can draft it right now. See, I don't see that. I'm, I'm having trouble understanding how this that could be interpreted that way. I don't interpret it that way at all. So that's to just make I don't know, we don't want to do it um, or change it. Then I think it has to be you can, record that you can go well, and you, you can put it this this does not apply to existing homes sold, sold by original <clears throat> uh owner or resident owner in kept in the same place type thing um see that because it, it doesn't say anything I personally, I would vote the article down on this. See, this says that it shall be stored or exhibited for sale. Or stored. Okay. That's very different from listing property for sale. Well, it's uh, for other sale than... and, and then also the sentence reads for sale and eventual removal. So you're selling it to have them move So on. if you put on other than its original spot placement spot right so but now i guess i have to know is can they sell to you and you pick that up and move it out uh, from their original spot yeah it yeah. still gets rid of it yeah so if we put other than it's original move it out of the place, park to another park not in town Oh. See, I don't think you should even be doing that, but that's up to yeah. you guys. Um, they should either so, sell them as exist or they get rid of them, like demo and put them Well, away. you know, it's affordable housing, and I, I, you know, if it's 10 years, that's still a pretty nice one. Um, well, then they home. can sell it on the foundation that it exists. Well, they may not want to be on in that park. There's some nicer places than others that <laughs> have very strict rules um, and keep really nice, well maintained things. But then where would that? So we, but then where would they be going? Like you tell me, like Gaslight would have a grant doesn't have any brand new parks. No, so I, just I mean, I, I don't see that playing out. But hmm. you know, well, I I have seen because a nice new home isn't going to go to Gaslight. The Gaslight units that are there aren't going to go to a nice park like Jensen's. You think Jensen's not allow an old unit? You no. Know well, I mean? you have the ten year rule then. And gas and the individual parks do it, but as for exhibit for sale, um, other than its originally placed spot, is that how you want to word it? Uh, yeah, can we work on something like that? Alrighty. I got yeah, I got two calls still. Um, stored or exhibited for sale. So this does not Can we say no unoccupied? Can we say it this way? No unoccupied manufactured home shall be brought in to a park. Or ex exhibited for sale and eventual removal. We already have that. Okay. Well, you don't want them taking their old units and moving them off to the side either, and leaving yeah, them and there leave for storage, yeah. Yeah. and then selling them as junk from the side. Yeah. You can't have these. You know, they can't. Yeah. Or, this. or just turn to storage yeah. sheds. Yeah. Right. 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 Um, so just, I guess we can say this does not apply to existing. Manufactured homes sold on their foundation on their existing in place on in exist their existing location. Yeah, in place in their existing location. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they that works for me. Is that what yeah. you? So it's going to read. 
no unoccupied manufactured home shall be stored or exhibited for sale and eventual removal within a manufacturing home park or subdivision or in any residential residential area. This does not apply to existing manufactured homes sold on their existing in their existing location. Oh, that's good. Mm. All right. Yeah. And that, that will solve the leaving them around and I, I've seen people use them for storage sheds. Oh, right. I think horse barns. Yeah, you don't want that. And you don't want them selling. You don't want them putting new ones in and sticking the old ones out on the street for sale like junk either, mm. you know. Solomon's in place or get rid of, we'll get rid of, get rid of it, get rid of it. Oh. That works for me. Is that work for me? Yes, own? it does. Okay. Very good. <clears throat> so, Leanne, is that an amendment to 8.1.6 or is this a new amendment? Well, it'll be, it's a, Right, it's an amendment to that amendment. So eight, we will one eight point one point six, and we'll hold one more public hearing. Okay. Uh, in two weeks. Okay. Just for that. Yeah, just for that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. And, All right. And then it'll go on the ballot. We have time because I think you said the other one on the ballot. Yeah. Yeah. I think we have time. We have time for two public hearings. Yeah. Yeah. Good. All right. Do we need to put that in the form of a motion to accept the? Revision. Um, um, it's an amendment. I'll make a motion to accept the changes. Uh, eight dot one dot six as amended to be presented at the next public hearing. Yeah, that's good. Second. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right. So so be it. All right. Our next is the approval of the minutes from November 29th, 2022. Oh, I didn't print them. I had sent them to you. Do you need me to? I, I read them and I didn't oh. see. Do you want me to go print them? No, I can pull them up later. Hmm? Okay. Mm -hmm. You go to me. Do you have them, Tom? Do you need a copy of the minutes? Oh, he here. wasn't here. I so wasn't he... here, so I can't vote anyway. So well, that meaning that he we wasn't have... here, we didn't have a quorum. There was no meeting. This would be the minutes oh, from right. the previous meeting. Oh, I can run upstairs. I know uh, that I didn't think to copy them again. Uh, oh. Did you get the Get another um, meeting, town meeting coming up. When is that? March. Isn't it the Ten first? Or isn't it the first Saturday in March? Or the second Saturday. Saturday. Or the second Saturday. By the way, just I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I, I visited uh, Chuck Mitchell you know, the other day. He's home from the hospital. He's recovering. And he's doing some PT at home. He's uh let's let's wait. Yep. Yeah, I'm just saying I okay. brought over some grub for him and Kathy. <laughs> Thanks. Here we go. Good people. So What's that road holding up this year with the frost keys? Um, starting to crack along the edges, like six inches away from the edge of the roadway, starting to break down on the side. Mm. Uh, that's up at the top of the hill. And as you, as you go down, it, it's starting, to, you can see some stress cracks on the street. Where did she go? Upstairs. Oh, what? Did you go make some copies? Of the men? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I read them. Yeah, I, I, you I, have them, but he month? wasn't here. Which, this is the other minute. Oh, that's was that the other meeting. Okay. Minutes? Which minutes? What, do you remember what the date is of the minutes we're going to be discussing? Was it 1129? Wait a minute. I 
I think it probably was. I think it was. Twenty minutes. Thirteen. Yep, it would have had to have been on the thirteenth. I'm in the thirteenth. So I'll have to pull them up here. Which what was that? The Liam was that the November meeting? November 29th. The 29th, because yeah, December we just did a little discussion. Well, December we didn't. Okay. Don't say we did a discussion because it would have been illegal. We didn't have time. We didn't have time. It was just the two of you, remember? Yeah. Yeah. This was the um the one before. Thank you. And it was a short meeting too because I don't know. I just got a message from. Uh, Christine, she just got home. Do we need her? And I told her no. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes as written. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So, so be it. All right. Then I guess our next meeting. I just have two quick things if I can just mention oh, okay. them for the next yeah. meeting if you want me to yeah. bring it forward. Um, so, one is um, your. Uh, site plan regs call out uh, your fee for butter notices um, at ten dollars, and we are now up to over eight dollars to mail certified mail. Um, so um, wow. we should be considering increasing that because it's going to start. I do that because that mm. is supposed to cover the cost of us doing it as well, yeah. the labor. So, um, if I will, if you want to think about it for the next meeting, and I can put it on the agenda for discussion, and then we can um, talk about making an amendment for that on the regs. Um, you do have the authority to do it because it's in your regs. Change the fees. Um, I did note it on my report to the selectmen mm. just so you know we're going to be looking at that, but it's not. Of course, I thought it was under the selectmen's purview, but it is actually in planning since it's in the regs. Um, I had suggested $15. I mean, we certified mail used to be three, four, five dollars back just a mm -hmm. while ago when I was doing it. You know, it's up to eight now. So 15 however, I looked at a couple other towns, they've amended it to 12. Um, so if you want to think about where you want to put it, mm -hmm. but I mean, the cost of postage is going up. Every year, I was going to say there's increases. Yeah. Already. You know, so, and there's anything. a lot of work to it involved. It doesn't right. mean just going and sticking the mailbox. You got to make sure everyone is received. Right. And if they don't go we'll back, return receipt and the labels. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. um, so think about it, yeah. and we'll put that on the next. I'll have that on the next agenda. Okay. And the other thing we got to remember, and I know you had mentioned, I assume you still want it on the agenda. We just haven't really had a full board to take any action on things. Is you had discussed. Um, uh, authorizing Kevin Duval to do driveways. We haven't really had any lately, but come the spring, we'll probably start to see some. And if you still want to do that, that's something we should put. So I can put that on the agenda if you still want to discuss that. So those are two things I have: this regs and um, 
in the driveways. I don't know if anyone else okay, is Oh, no, I just wanted to follow up. Did you check on the sign at Wilma Joe's? I did not. What did they do? But I will. Because it's, it's, it's a blinking. It's, like, it's a sign that. Yeah, I will. I'll put it right on my screen. It's a screaming sign. Wilma Joe's. It was, I think, for the holidays. I was Wilma Joe's. No, it's just for Kevin to inspect them. They get out of okay the permits. To, to so approve. Okay, yeah. Approve the permit? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the way we used to do it. Okay. We had someone on the board who did not like that. But and he does it now. I mean, again, you see, it's up to, yeah, that's really up to you guys. Yes. I, I mean, okay. it, it's, yeah. I think you suggested it, John. I don't know. I think I suggested it because that's what yeah. I, that's been, a, that's been a big, well, we had a couple that were approved that were against zoning violations. That was um, that oh. were approved because of two lanes from corners and bends. And, That's not. Yeah. And he, also setbacks from um, the. Uh, he says he checks the. But anyway, but yeah. yeah. Well, I've been out with him, and he does check it. And if you want, if you want, we can have him come and talk about it too. If you, I mean, I don't think he cares if he has to do it or not, but he does it anyway because you make him. Not you make them, but we ask them to review it anyway. So I guess, again, it's up to you guys. We'll okay. put it on for discussion. Um, the, I guess the last thing is we need board members. So, um, you know, fortunately, we have not had to delay applicants because of quorum, and we missed quorum last time. But we do have some projects I'm anticipating a busy year. Um, so, um, I do have one application, um, which is fine, uh, but he isn't a resident yet, so, we can't bring it forward. so I'm not going to bring it forward to you until he is a resident. He bought property here, but he's not living here yet, so we can't bring it forward to him become a resident. And I'm not sure you will. <laughs> um, so because I know who you're yeah, talking. Yeah, um, but yeah, we need to get some. Maybe maybe the election again. We'll try. Janice and I might try and go. We did get a little bit of interest mm -hmm. there. I don't know if you have any other way we can get people some different, you know, people that. And you know, to get the same people, the problem with getting the same people on multiple boards is that they don't come because they're too busy too. You know, like like Christine and you know she's on budget manager, she's on this queen. You know, everyone has a lot too much on their mm -hmm. plate, and so then they don't come. Unless they're, they're like me. And I'm retired, well, yeah, so right. I don't have anything else, you know. Right. But it was the same problem I remember with Eric and I shouldn't call him. But you know, he, he had multiple boards and I know it's hard. He was on fire and this one. So when you have somebody who's on too many boards, sometimes that's hard too. So maybe we can find someone. Do you does anybody have any? We can idea? put something in the paper if you want to authorize. We've something. done that, but we could do that again. I can put try and put it on the home page of the website. Um and I could use some people on zoning as well. I want to go for. The other, when Jeannie puts out, she puts a little newsletter with the um, the uh, tax bill that goes out. I wonder if we could write something. Well, I don't know. think they put a newsletter out this time. I think the what tax collector she? didn't put a, did she put a newsletter out. Um, I thought she yeah. thought it would be too much, but um, I don't know. I, yeah, a newsletter with the tax bill is a good way of getting because it gets to every yeah. single house. Yeah, and there's, That's I know a. they have a web page too. You know, put that out. Um, we need some people to start, you know, some younger over. blood too. Right, I, exactly. <laughs> I mean, so I'm not, right, and I'm board. including that. It's all right. These people well, are moving I, on. and you That's know, exactly right. I, they got to learn. They have to learn. You know what? The zoning board is is not is a fairly you know you've got Matt Hillman who's young he's he's you know very involved and and uh, you know we have some you know Brian is it's a younger group Eric um, uh, Usinger is you know his teacher he's so we have a kind of a younger group on that side mm -hmm. so maybe if you know and there and that's all they do is zoning you know all four of them that's all they do. So it's yeah, not, but, you know, Matt, not, it's hard for Matt because he's a fireman. Right, but yeah. they're not burnt out either, yeah. which is another thing, right? People say, oh, I can't go on that meeting tonight, yeah. you know. So if we can maybe find, maybe the election is a good place to, <coughs> in March to talk it up. But anyway, we, we've got to do something because we can't continue with. Well, and, and it's, people. Well, a lot of times, you know, people don't 
realize that they have what it takes to do it. You know, they think, I don't know anything about it. Yeah. And it's, you know, reading things, common sense, read what they, you know, it's, um, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. And um, this is how you learn these things, you know, and being on a board, you don't have to. Yeah. Be an engineer, you don't have to write. It's nice to have some background, but you know, if you've got some good common sense and um, and maybe you know, COVID and it, was made it harder, people didn't want to come out and we weren't, you know, we mm-hmm. were, it was kind of home. So now that that's breaking, maybe we'll get some people. I don't know, we do need to talk it up and and uh, so I think it's always been an issue. It's, it was like oh, it was a couple that were, they were when I first got on planning board, they were both on it, husband and wife. And they were like on five boards and they moved out of town and it left everything. Well, that's the other oh, thing, right? You have one wow. person doing all the boards. Absolutely. It's not good anyway. You got to get other, you know, other people involved. Because like I said, something happens to one, and, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. So, yeah, let's see what we can, uh, we can get some uh, new people to come on board. Get some, boy, it'd be nice to have some alternates, wouldn't it? <laughs> we, don't even have a, we don't have a full board, never mind alternates. So. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, Make a motion to adjourn. Yeah. Second. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Good. Can you look? Is it shut off yet? Okay.